Okay, this is the uh, heating stove which will be uh, the recipient of the burner that I've uh, been making. It's a uh, Jared Al Pioneer model. Uh, I've cleaned out the ash. As you can see, there's the uh, wet back there. Copper pipes raised into a uh, heat exchanger from the flame. Uh, you might notice in the top left corner of the firebox there's a hole. I just drilled that today. Come around the side and have a look at that. Oops. This is the air tube, which will also carry the fuel line for the burner. All right. It goes into the hole. And with a bit of wiggling, goes into place. The burner. A bit of pipe to the centre. Something for the uh, air to swirl around and the flames to swirl around. That will be welded in place. And it will go in like so. And the idea being that uh, I'll put a cover on that to uh, um, contain most of the heat to ensure that the flame is uh, very efficient. Um, that's all for now. Okay, showed you this before, and you can see the uh, holes drilled in the uh, the air tube, and uh, no holes have yet been drilled in the body of the, the stove, apart from the moment that it passes through, and the um, plate is not welded onto the tube yet. Um, these things take time, and in time it will be done. Right. Here is our wood fire installed, ready to use. Fins on the uh, flue uh, for heat recovery, and it will. Uh, it currently runs on uh, uh, timber. We have a small rural block which has uh, um, a reasonable amount of timber on it, but this is the. Uh, uh, if the stove which will be converted to run on uh, waste oil. Okay, this is uh, iteration uh, 1.1 of the uh, burner. And you can see I've mounted the uh, blower on a, uh, a stand. Uh, you can't see much, but I've changed from the variac to a, uh, a light dimmer for the fan speed control. 600 watt light dimmer works fine for the 80 watt blower. Okay, looking here inside the firebox, we have plenty of flame going onto the heat exchanger at the back. Um, don't know what fuel uh, consumption I'm using at the moment. I've uh, got a, uh, a much longer pipe. Uh, it's only quarter inch outside diameter, so not much uh, flow through it. Uh, my plans are to include a, uh, a fuel pump, 7 psi fuel pump and uh, um, solenoid valves to control the uh, um, high and low uh, flame settings. Yes, burning quite well. temperature of the water from the heat exchanger is dropping now uh, as indicated the um, thermosiphon is starting to work um, water is now circulating through the hot water system uh, the cold water return is still at 17 and a half degrees and that will start to rise soon
meant that uh, fuel pump uh, its noise is louder than the fan or the, uh, uh, the fire itself. Right, the uh, temperature differential has settled down to about uh, 32 degrees. Um, and, uh, that's typical of uh, what I would expect from this with the uh, thermocycle action. Okay, it's less than 10 minutes after uh, uh, ignition and uh, it's settled down to a uh, steady flame. Uh, our water system is heating up. Well, let's go outside and have a look at the, uh, um, the smokestack. Okay, there's the uh, fumes from the chimney. Um, I'll adjust that to give a better um, exhaust emissions, I should be able to get that pretty well clear. Okay, here we are. We've adjusted the uh, fuel and uh, fan to uh, give me a uh, real clean and looking exhaust. Faintest uh, greyish exhaust coming out there. Okay, here we are. One hour after uh, ignition. Um, the return line from the uh, hot water system has increased in temperature significantly it was about 17 degrees before uh, the uh, height was coming out around about uh, 45 degrees hotter fire is uh, uh, roaring away quite nicely not excessively I've now rubber mounted the uh, pump and it's much quieter we'll go outside now and have a look at the uh, fuel consumption Okay, there's the flue. Um, can't discern any visible emissions at all. I can smell the uh, burnt oil, but uh, I'm afraid I can't provide that on this uh, video. Okay, here we are. The uh, uh, low speed, um, the temperatures on the hot, hot side from the uh, wetback is down to 60.4. Um, it's still uh, flowing, so it's still heating the water up um, at a slower rate. Um, but when I put the uh, uh, hydraulic radiators in, um, this will be a good uh, maintenance um, flow rate for the oil. Um, and uh, once the house is warm, I may even decide to reduce this further. Let's see how we go. Okay, back at the oil tank again. Um, we've just been on the uh, um, low flow rate for a few minutes now. Here's our uh, current time. Uh, slight usage below the mark. But, um, some of that was an adjustment as well. See how we go in an hour's time. Okay, here we are on uh, low flow rate on the left solenoids. Got the red light on. Uh, I had a uh, mm, uh, equipment failure here. The uh, temperature sensor fell out of the return line, which was why the uh, temperatures were relatively low on the return line. It's 38.1 now. Um, you need just under 20 degrees C uh, rise with the uh, uh, heat exchanger at the uh, low flame rate fans on uh, 
and same speed as it was on the high rate, high flow rate, so uh, all as well. Uh, let's go back so uh, at the time is now 10 past 10 am. Our tank again, temporary fuel tank. Okay, and we've moved about uh, half an inch, maybe just a little bit less, maybe just only a centimetre um, of flow since we started this, and uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, here we are. It's 20 past, or 22.11, and 64.62.4, that's 21 degrees. Um, differential from the heat exchanger. Back to our fuel tank again and uh, there's our uh, level there. Uh, it's gone down about another uh, three quarters of an inch, two centimeters and time again is 22.11.